with the edge over Derek Lowe and other factors as to why the Braves are trailing one to nothing. Strike three and Posey goes down. One hit between the Braves at Turner Field and on the road. Three and two, Kimbrell strikes out. Puff on a called third strike. And that'll be one down here in the bottom of the eighth. Well, Aubrey Huff, a pretty good fastball hitter. He just gets locked up with that tailing fastball just inside of the inside corner for a called strike three. So here's Buster. Three two again, and Posey strikes out. 86 miles per hour took something off that pitch. Did Kimbrel and the second straight strikeout for Craig Kimbrel. Eight consecutive fastballs to start the sequence from Kimbrel. Just kept pounding it in there on Buster Posey, trying to stay away, nibble at that outside corner, keep it down around the knees. Fastball, 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 fastball. <laughs> There's the first slider of the sequence buster the Giants the right-hander in their bullpen and the ace closer Billy Wagner for the Braves in the right field bullpen and Strike three is Kimbrel strikes out Uribe on a high fastball I tell you at this time of the season if you have a hole in your swing the opposing team will find it Juan Uribe, a notorious bad ball hitter. He chases high fastballs out of the zone. Kimbrel just pounded him across the letters that time to get the strikeout. He has faced five batters half far. It'll be McCann, Cabrera, and Conrad. The scheduled hitters for the Braves. The bat goes flying, and that is strike three right out to Gonzalez. So five strikeouts and seven hitters. For Craig Kimbrell, we go to extra innings here in San Francisco, all tied at 4 4. A chance we could see Moylan for Freddie Sanchez. Strike three. Torres goes down, and the Giants are down to their last out. had some trouble commanding that slider gets that one on the back door at the very top of the strike zone for a called strike three on Andres Torres the reason I said you might see Moreland for Freddie Sanchez Huff not really a threat to steal you pay him a minimum of attention over there at first base and he's not going to go anywhere chasing is Posey and he strikes out for the first down here in the ninth inning second time Posey's going down on strikes tonight a lot of scouts here tonight making notes not only for the rest of the postseason, but for next season. Buster Posey having trouble with sliders low and away in that 97 mile. Striking out half of the batters he faced all year. That's never happened before. Struck him out. One, two, three inning for Kimbrell. Stage is set to the bottom of the ninth. Prado, Hayward, and Chipper Jones in what might be his final at bat. Same sort of look. And they both had similar stuff. 100 mile an hour fastball with a hard breaking ball. Straight three to Schumacher. One down in the ninth. Nasty slider. After that pitch, we're always supposed to talk about a reliever who comes in gets a big out has to sit for a while and come back out and how that could affect him of the season payoff pitch swing and a miss he struck out Perez to end the inning so we will go to the ninth inning the Indians in control of this game spring training 
didn't hit enough. Did he go? Yes, he did. Vic Carapazzo rang him up down there at third. One down. I'll let you handle this one, Cal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he lost control of the bat head there. He was a little jumpy, like a lot of the Boston hitters were in the first couple games. Had to make him a starter for as long as they can. Went right to relief and has done some historical things as a young reliever. Tried to hold up but couldn't, and that's two up and two down for Craig Kimbrough. 